friends, it's wonderful to be here today. And I'm delighted, delighted because my dear friend, Mr. Pallad Karkar is here and is willing to listen to me. And that gives me a great pleasure. The idea of a kaleidoscope is what you have in a small cardboard box with so many crystals. But the moment you turn the cardboard box round and round, you get different beautiful pictures in spite of the fact that the glass pieces are the same. And so it is with life. All the pieces are really the same. But the moment you turn it round and look at it with a different perspective, we see different beautiful pictures. Life is also all that. You take the Stone Ages. We still had the same life. We grew from birth to death. But we had a different environment in a different cardboard box. We had the same crystals, the same people that you have. But we were worried about security, about hunting for food, keeping a different quality of life. And life changed. Because today, you have everything. You are not worried so much about your food. It's available online on the supermarket at your home. You're not worried about shelter to that extent that you would have in the good old days when you lived in the caves. So the environment has actually changed. But in reality, what we have to face in life has not changed at all. Because if you want to move from A to B and B to C, the perspectives of life remain the same. And the crystals of those life of a human being remain the same. And that is what I wanted to share with you of what we did. And what I learned in all these years, what made me keep going and moving on into creating what we did. I'm a real estate developer. And we made projects. We constructed townships. But I was from a family of doctors. So there was no background about what I wanted to achieve or what I wanted to look at. So I looked at the crystal of what existed. What happened in those times as to what were the buildings which were constructed before my time, which is 35, 40 years ago. And I saw a lot of good buildings. I saw a lot of bad buildings. And I saw a lot of ordinary buildings. And I wondered, the same concrete which built the good buildings were the same concrete which made the bad buildings. So we had a choice. We could make good buildings, ordinary buildings, or great buildings. And so we chose, so simply put it, to make better buildings. And that is what changed my entire life. Because the thought process of it was to look up to mentors who really showed me how to do better. Now, it doesn't matter where you are. You may be on ground zero which was a person like me who came from a family where I was the first generation entrepreneur. Or you could be from a family where you already had a business background and capital and money and everything that you have, and that could be it. But I've realized over a period of years, the secret is not to worry where you are or what position you started from, at what age you are, but to say, what is it that I can next do to improve myself? And to see it, can I better myself? So when I started a project in the Hiranandani Gardens at Pawai, it was a quarry land. And there were no benchmarks of what you could do. So I thought of, what are the best benchmarks in the city of Mumbai? And I came from a place at Malabar Hill, which had lovely buildings in comparison to the rest of Mumbai. I went to a school in South Mumbai, which was considered a good school. My father was a doctor, and he operated in South Mumbai beautiful hospitals. All my thought processes in my life were focused on the fact, is it possible for me to make better buildings than any other building that has been made in the city of Mumbai? Is it possible for me, as an entrepreneur, to think of making a better school than the school I went to in South Mumbai. 
is it possible to make a hospital, and my father went to many, many, many hospitals, to make a hospital which was better than all the hospitals that he built. And that became the benchmarks in my subconscious mind. Yes, of course, it's not possible to do it on day one. I was short on resources. I was short on ideas. I was short on technology. And there were lots and lots of handicaps that we went to. But once we had the envelope which was available, the resources that were available at that point of time, it was possible to start moving one step at a time to keep improving. So what was it? Was I able to say that I was going to be the best in the city of Mumbai on day one? The answer was obviously no. There was no way that I could achieve that thought in my mind of achieving that target on day one. But I kept that vision in mind that we needed to do so. But I could make one building in a place at Mumbai to be better than whatever I had made before. So my second building, obviously, was thought to be better than the first building that I made. And the third building that I made should be better than the second building that I made. And when I made the school, constructed a school, I thought of one of the best schools in Mumbai. And can I make it better than that? It didn't happen, really. But it was the best efforts that I put through in order to make a building and aspire to do it. I couldn't make the really the best because they were short of resources. They were short of ideas. I didn't have so many technology inputs that were available to me at that point of time. But yes, at the end of the day, it was possible to say that we won hundreds of international awards for making quality buildings and creating projects which was second to none in the entire city of Mumbai. And here I was, a first generation entrepreneur who had never ever done any business before, who was not in the real estate business, had a chartered accountancy background and not a civil engineering or an architectural background, and I had no idea about how finance and resources could be really geared up to reach the moon. However, the ideas and thoughts are very similar. All you got to do is pick up the crystals that you have and the resources and thoughts and ideas that you have. And remember to move one step forward every time that you do a new activity or create a new activity on the next day, how can I better myself at point two, building two, hospital two, school two, or anything that one does in one's life, how can I better myself at that point of time? If one does that continuously, as things are up to do, you find that the entire world changes. The whole aspiration goal that you are looking for becomes closer and closer to you. But human beings are never satisfied. Once you reach one goal at a particular point of time, you will obviously have new goals and aspirations in your life. And that's the beauty of a human being. And that's the beauty of any person who moves forward. Once you achieve a goal, a vision, a target, you start moving and aspiring to the next goal of what we are doing. And there are so many issues that I want to share with you today. One of the thoughts which always worked with me was the point is, how much effort does one need to take and how much perspiration are we willing to accept if you want to achieve a goal? And that's what I learned over a period of time that once you desire something strongly, you desire to love somebody, a beautiful woman, a beautiful girl, you're willing to go all the way in order to attract her to yourself. Similarly, if you have a goal which is attractive enough, you're willing to go through any pain in your life in order to achieve that goal. 
and it becomes easier and easier. So if you have a goal which you make a part of your passion of life, that you actually desire to do so, it's always so easy to bear the pain and problems that you go through in order to achieve it. So if you can get a mission and a goal which you aspire for and love it, you will always do better. The second part which I always find are what my guru, Dada J.P. Vaswani shared with me. And he shared with me a thought which I was wondering comes from a religious person. And he said, it's no use trying to do your best. Many times you try and do your best, and the end of it you say, oh, I tried to do my level best, but you know, I didn't succeed. And you give up. The point is very wrongly taken. And Dada told me and taught me that it's not good enough to do your best. You have to do better than the best. Because everybody says, I tried my best and did not go forward. But when you work towards being better than the best, you will always be able to achieve it. And that's what makes difference between a good and an extraordinary person who achieves great things in life. And once you make that a habit in your life of wanting to do better than the best, there is nothing that really comes in your way in order to achieve it. And of course, the third thing which I learned when we get into all these things which were there was the idea to be able to focus on the issue which is on hand. Many times, especially with new technology like the mobile phones, uh, um, uh, Facebook, Instagram, there are a huge amount of distractions in our current state of affairs and life. So we lose focus on the work that we are doing. So the very important factor is, when you take up anything that you want to do in this kaleidoscope of life, the necessity is to be able to focus on that subject and not to get distracted with whatever it is. And once you make it a habit to learn to focus on an objective, you will be able to achieve that objective and let the distractions be. Otherwise, one gets so distracted with the distractions itself that you won't be able to ever focus and be successful in the ultimate creation of beauty in your life. This is the same thing which has happened in so many different parts of my career. And this is really something which I've seen beautifully done by the best people in the world. I can give you several examples of what has happened. Let's take some of the things that we have seen by this type of steps which are taken, either by people who have achieved the greatest in the world. The city of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed, has worked into his city to create a beautiful city. But how much of us people realize that today you have more tourists, visitors, visiting Dubai for a holiday or as transit tourists than the whole country of India. Can you imagine just one city, one airport has more tourists, worldwide tourists coming to Dubai than the entire world. So if you have an objective that you want to do and you want to focus on it, you keep on improving on that idea working towards that destination, there is nothing that cannot be achieved. Look at the thoughts of Nelson Mandela, what he achieved even after 27 years of being in prison. And at the end of the day, created this different country. Or Martin Luther King, who moved together by just one statement, I have a dream, and the desegregation in America took place. And I am now in the real estate business. And I have a great dream, which follows the thoughts of what Prime Minister Narendra Modi is now visualized. The city of Mumbai, almost 50% of the population lives in Jopatpatis. It is the richest city in India. In spite of that, half the people live in slums and unauthorized housing. 
However, our Prime Minister made this statement and he has created a vision around an idea, a thought, and an objective of saying housing for all, all, and affordable housing for all by 2022 for the entire country. Not the, not the richest city in India, not Maharashtra, not of uh, Delhi and Mumbai and Calcutta and Madras, but the entire country. And those are the kind of objectives that we must put across in our minds and see that in spite of all the hurdles, nobody ever thought of it for 70 years of independence, that we should focus on a thought that we will make housing for all and that to affordable housing for all in a short period of five years. And here our Prime Minister has focused on the idea of saying housing for all in the next five years. These are the kind of challenges that we need to put in our minds. But well, what does the Prime Minister do? He takes one step at a time, keeps on working towards that objective, not worried that India is comparatively poorer and does not have adequate resources. The resources of Christians are the same. But when you turn the cardboard box and view it differently, all the objectives that you have can be achieved with the same crystals. There's no difference whatsoever. We have had all these resources for 70 years, but the same thought and resources are put across differently in order to focus on an objective that we want to achieve that. This is my experience in life of seeing the mentors in this world. People who have achieved all these have done it by following these simple steps which made them achieve great things, great thoughts, and had great leadership. And I'm sure that each and every one of you can do the same as he has done. Remember, a Chaiwala has become a Prime Minister of India. Thank you.